At this place in history, we're in St. Albans Town with the Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, we're we talking about this beautiful building behind we us. We are. We're going to learn all about this beautiful stone building here. We're in Bayside Park, so we're going to talk about lake, bays, and this cool stone building. So this is an example of a stone bathhouse. This was constructed in 1933 by a crew of workers and has operated continuously since as a shelter for the park, featuring changing areas and picnic areas. It's really uh, a unique building with the stone construction and something that really kind of anchors anchors uh, the Bay Park as a community space. So it was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps, which is this uh, program from the 1930s. 1933 it was started by the federal government. So imagine a military uh, format put to civilian use. So these were groups of workers in St. Albans. There was the Chester A. Arthur Camp. A camp was uh, comprised of young men from 18 uh, to mid-20s who would be paid $30 a month to do public works projects, and they had to commit to sending 25 of those dollars back home. And so the idea was during a time when there was uh, struggles with unemployment and infrastructure improvements and things like that, it was a great way to create good paying, dependable jobs. If you've heard of the Civilian Conservation Corps or the Works Project Administration, uh, again, they're responsible for constructing post offices and public buildings like this all around the country. So it's kind of always maintained its uh, character and, and focus. Initially, um, St. Albans uh, Bay Park would host thousands of visitors during the summertime. And it was uh, truly a bathhouse. So it was featured changing areas. There was a snack bar. It was a place where families would kind of congregate when they were having their day at the beach and enjoying a wonderful Vermont uh, summer morning or afternoon. As time moved on and the park became more about a walking path and uh, the beachfront was utilized less, it's kind of stayed a community space. So you'll find people uh, picnicking here in the summer. There was a music festival just last year for the first time. You can rent it out for special events like weddings or other occasions. Can you talk a little bit about the, the heritage of this bay in general? I mean, it's a beautiful setting here. I mean, even on the cold day like today. So St. Albans Bay has a great history that uh, at first glance you might not be aware of. And again, the Stone Bathhouse really anchors it, and it's something that the town is going to be working to renovate in the future so that it can continue to be utilized by the community. But if you think about what St. Albans Bay was like, uh, for a time it was actually known as Port Washington, huh. uh, named after General Washington. There was a group of citizens here who uh, voted to rename it. There were shops, hotels, and resorts. There was a ferry that operated here for a period of time. St. Albans Bay was just as active a working waterfront as Burlington. And in fact, it's sort of world famous for one of the first sailing canal vessels built right here in St. Albans Bay by uh, two local boat builders who had hoped to supply their general store. This was the Gleaner. Now a sailing canal boat is a special boat that can either sail on the open lake or be towed through the canal system. And it was the very first vessel in history to go from the waters of Lake Champlain, the open waters here in Vermont, from St. Albans Bay all the way to New York City when the canal was completed in 1823. And what can you see here today on the bay? As recreation sort of used to be the primary focus and before that it was industry and again sort of this maritime working waterfront. Today Today it's, it's all about being sort of a family uh, gathering space or community gathering space. So you can come here and enjoy uh, the town, access to uh, the town forest. Uh, you can also have uh, picnics and uh, grilling out and music festivals and things like that. And of course you can still swim and enjoy the waterfronts of Lake Champlain. At this place in history.